Howdy, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today for the children's message. So I don't know if you noticed, but in the first reading today, we hear something that we hear a lot. And maybe you've heard it in Sunday school and maybe your parents have taught it to you. But we hear in scripture for the first time, the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20. If you don't remember any other scripture from today, remember in Exodus 20, uh, we hear the Ten Commandments. Moses goes up Mount Sinai. God gives him these commandments and he brings them back down to God's people. Uh, the Ten Commandments are, are kind of a big deal. Uh, it was a covenant that God made with his people. Now a covenant is like an agreement, right? That God said that I will be your God if you do these things, if you keep these commandments. And if you do that, then you'll be my people and I'll be your God. But what the, the Hebrews found out is that it was awfully hard to keep the commandments. In fact, if you remember that story, even when Moses came down the mountain, God's people had already broken the first one. And Moses gets so mad that he throws uh, the tablets down and they break all over. And Moses has to go back up Mount Sinai uh, to, get the, to get the tablets again. Um, the, the commandment that they broke, the very first one, is that you shall have no other God but the Lord your God. Now this is important to us because so often we do not put God first in our lives. And we may say that, we may say that we do, but we don't. Now luckily for us, even though we fail to keep God's law, we are not condemned by it. Uh, we're not, we're not, God doesn't give up on us. In fact, because we couldn't keep the law, uh, we realize that we need something that, that doesn't you know, really rely on us in, in doing things. Because if it did, we would all go to hell. And that's not where we want to go. We want to go to heaven. And so it was in God's plan to give us something that wouldn't, that we couldn't fail at. And so our salvation doesn't rest really upon us. Our salvation rests upon Jesus and what Jesus does on the cross for us. It's an important distinction to make. Now the law is good. The law helps us to live peaceably with one another. The law helps bring order from chaos. The law uh, gives us a structure to live by. But it is Jesus that brings salvation. And that's what I want you guys to remember today. Uh, the law is a good thing. We got lots of good things in our lives, but we only get salvation through Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Why don't we close in prayer? Good and gracious God, you give us lots of things to structure our lives. You give us uh, bedtime rules. You give us chores. You give us the law the Ten Commandments, and all the other ones uh, that we have in the Bible. These help us live as your children. These help us live as good neighbors to one another. But these cannot save us. It is only our Lord Jesus Christ that can save. And so we give you thanks for that today. But we also ask that you help us to keep your law because it's good for us to keep. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining me. We will see you next time. Take care and God's peace be with you.